It's always good to have a local hospital. Munir Matar is one of the 47,000 patients Christ Hospital sees annually. Staff says its 362 beds are rarely vacant, but a toxic corporate battle over selling the struggling 140-year-old hospital in Jersey City allegedly pushed it so close to closing, the state will now monitor its daily finances. Closing hospital make it bad for a lot of people who are in the neighborhood, depending on it. It is uh, very, very much needed. Hudson County is uh, growing every day, and there are an enormous amount of, of sick and vulnerable people here. I think they could do a lot more to revamp this hospital. I really do. It's not one of the best. Here's the deal. In October, CarePoint agreed in principle to sell Christ Hospital and Hoboken University Medical Center to Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health, which is also an underwriter of NJTV News. But the deal hit a huge snag after the nursing home chain Alaris bought the Hoboken facility's buildings and grounds. That worried hospital staff. CarePoint issued 2,700 layoff notices in November. There's a degree of fear, um, you know, uh, every day something else is coming out in the newspaper. I think that's difficult. Nothing about CarePoint has been simple. And so we are not surprised that this is as complicated as it is currently. It gets more complicated. In December, CarePoint sued Alaris, claiming it interfered with the sale agreement. Alaris countersued, charging CarePoint siphoned off profits from the hospitals. Last week, CarePoint's deal with Robert Wood tanked, alarming Mayor Steve Fulop, who fears CarePoint could declare bankruptcy and liquidate Christ Hospital. And so you're kind of in this back and forth between two sides pointing fingers at each other. Um, our objective is to shed some sunlight on it, which has happened, and to make sure that the hospital doesn't close. Fulop urged Governor Murphy to step in, and he did, ordering New Jersey's Department of Health to appoint a monitor, stating all New Jerseyans deserve access to affordable, high-quality health care. Both CarePoint and Robert Wood welcomed increased state oversight and vowed renewed effort to negotiate an agreement in good faith. Fulop warned the city will not rezone the land for residential use. Liquidation and closure should not be part of the conversation. We shouldn't be scaring people with that. Um, and hopefully CarePoint is respectful towards that. Staff and local residents want a quick cure for this matter, but the lawsuit filed in Delaware could linger for months. In Jersey City, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.